A huge ice shelf in Antarctica is hanging on by a thread. The ice shelf has been disintegrating quickly. At least one scientist says it could be gone within weeks. What happens next could tell the world a lot about climate change and the future of rising sea levels. KTVU Health and Science Editor John Fowler here now with more. John? Climate experts told me today it's no surprise that the ice is breaking up, but the speed of the breakup may signal trouble. A huge chunk of ice is breaking off the Wilkins Ice Shelf in the Antarctic. These walls tower 100 feet above the sea. This floating ice shelf is three times the size of the Bay Area, holding back Antarctic land-based ice like buttresses. And as those are removed, it's much easier for the continental ice to basically slide out into the ocean where it can raise sea level. We may see more rapid failure of the large continental ice sheets than we had expected. Carnegie Institution Director Chris Field says we should know in a few weeks if the entire ice shelf will fail this year. It is the biggest of six Antarctic ice shelves to fail in 30 years, and climate scientists agree this is yet another confirming signal of global warming. But they say if we're lucky, will cause a two-foot rise in sea level this century. But if we're unlucky and we start losing massive chunks of Greenland, as is already beginning, or chunks of West Antarctica, we could raise sea level 10 to 20 feet. Stanford climatologist Stephen Schneider says any big sea level rise could be catastrophic for us here in the Bay Area, as well as around the world. But there's growing optimism among scientists that we can do something to stop it. The only way to stop it is not to keep using the atmosphere as a free sewer to dump our tailpipe and smokestack wastes. And that, of course, has political opposition. We can take appropriate action, we can take it in a decisive way, and we can take it now. Both Field and Schneider told me all three leading presidential candidates this year have global climate policies that may for the first time in seven years put the United States in the lead, both in policy and in technology, to face what some say is the greatest challenge to civilization in thousands of years. Reporting live, Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News.